The biggest race in Kansas is for governor and we're still waiting on the GOP results. Right now, Governor Jeff Collier and Chris Kobach are neck and neck, both with 41% of the vote. Kobach's on top by 541 votes. KCTV5's Abigail James joins us live in the newsroom now with an update. And Abigail, what, where does this whole thing stand right now? Hey, good morning, Gina. Well, the Johnson County Election Office is now tweeting that they expect to have the unofficial final results updated by 8 a.m. Now, it has been many long hours waiting to hear who will be the official Republican nominee for November. Since this morning, Kobach has narrowed the Johnson County margin to a seven-point lead for Kansas governor. Both people sent home their watch parties late last night because the results still hadn't come in. They had been back and forth several times throughout the night. At the time they sent everyone home, Collier was down by a couple hundred votes. This is what Kobach had to say just before 1 a.m. This has been a, a, a very tough scrimmage between the two sides, or between really the five sides, um, but I want everybody to join together regardless, stand for the principles that we all believe in, uh, and come together quickly and effectively so that we can advance our Republican principles uh, against the Democrat and the Independent in November. Now, Governor Collier was optimistic at the end of the night, telling his supporters to get some rest and be ready for final results. We're all very confident. We feel good. Everybody has had their chance to vote. Now we'll let the process take its place. Now representing the Democrats in November will be Laura Kelly, the Senate minority whip for Kansas. The 68 year old has served 14 years in the state Senate. Live in the newsroom, Abigail James, KCTV 5 News.